So, I want to give a little bit of uh, some history here. Yes, I actually did stream this game years ago, but unfortunately, it was taken down for a multitude of reasons. Not the same thing as you would think. They were just a little predated. My gameplay on there was absolute garbage. It's even worse than what most people think when I did Pokemon. And the other of which... I just feel like this game deserves much better justice. And after playing Sonic 1 and 2, I think it's much more fitting now to play it than before. Uh, what you're seeing right now is just another demo reel. Yep. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, um, but aside from that, Sonic 3, out of the original, uh, the, uh, the original Sonic trilogy, um, do you think you're the type of guy to have a man... I don't even know what you're fucking talking about. Anyways, this is Sonic 3, and this is easily my favorite out of the trilogy. Um, I originally was overwhelmed until I found out that um, it's, a com it's a connector to what they call the lock-on technology on the Sega Genesis. And you connect it with the, the second half named Sonic & Knuckles. With these two games combined, it was one of the funnest games I've ever played when I was introduced to Sonic, or when I had access to playing the Sega Genesis. Because prior to that, I did not know anything about playing the Genesis. I grew up strictly on the Super NES, as well as any other Nintendo platform consoles. Um, and never laid my fingers on the Dreamcast, or the Sega Saturn, or the Master System. I didn't even know there was a Master System. Anyways, enough history. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, away we go. Alright. Yeah, you can have a tro wide range of characters. This game has a lot of replay value, but I don't think I'm going to uh, go to the triple of replaying the game multiple times. That would be, uh, that would be a little ridiculous. Yeah. So, yeah. Sonic flying. No, it's Tails flying the plane, and Sonic's just chilling on there. Yep. Oh, yes, he goes supersonic at the beginning. I mean, it's not like I collected them uh, in the two uh, previous versions. Oh, wait, I didn't. And I'm not going to fucking care. <laughs> I am not going to care. Look at this nice, blush, beautiful scenery here. Nice and oh, yeah, like green and pretty. Too bad it's all going to go to waste in a bit. I did that on purpose for a reason. I forget, did... Well, the reason why Knuckles took the emeralds is because Eggman tricked him, right? Um, I don't know the full story. It seemed more like uh, Knuckles got mixed up between the two. By the way, D-Birch, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> but no, um, when I first uh, played the game and then I uh, encountered uh, having to fight Knuckles, I started thinking, like, why do I have to fight him? Isn't he on our side? And then I started to piece together thinking, I think he got mixed up between Sonic trying to steal the emeralds and Eggman stealing the emeralds. Or maybe he's yeah. just doing his job protecting the Master Emerald or something like that. I don't know the full detail. I would have to look up uh, online for, you know, any kind of lore that was built into this whole mess of a franchise and yes i did say mess because let's face it putting aside the genesis entries a lot of the genesis a lot of the sonic titles have been through hit a miss. yeah a huge hit and miss i mean when they hit they hit but when they miss the mark it's fucking disastrous like Ooh. levels of sonic 06 or sonic boom but then there's, like, other games that people like. Like, uh, I think it was one called Sonic Generations, and, uh... Oh, yeah. I... I don't know all the titles. I can't keep uh, track of them all. Woohoo! I got there a Chaos the, Emerald. Both, there was both of the Sonic Adventure games. There was also Sonic Heroes. Magical Star Flash, thank you for hosting. And, if I remember correctly, Sonic Heroes was, like, was considered the most popular of the Sonic... Didn't uh, people games. hate Sonic Heroes, though? No, I heard a lot of people really love this one. Oh, we have a and Joey. Yep, I see him. I see him. Hey, join hey. the call, dude. Join the call, Jasper. Birch, thank you for hosting. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Don't hurt yourself. I really hate that. The one thing I hate during these games is when they have those springs that knock you backwards. Right. It, it's it, a, it, 
I remember that always bothered me whenever I played the Sonic games. It's like the game's all about speed and going through loop-de-loops, but when you're being knocked back and forth, it's just gonna piss you off. Like, you have to be extra mindful of having to evade those instead of just, you know... Ah. Hi, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, folks, man. you love how beautiful and lush this land is? Well, prepare to enter hell. Oh, yeah. Uh, if I remember, this place goes 180 real fast. It does. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> and then, um, okay, go back to the to the Sonic games and I can still remember that. Oh, no. People have, like, opinions of. God. I know. Whoa, what the hell? Everything just lagged like crazy. What the fuck happened? I don't know. I know the storybook related ones are considered one of them. I don't mind the storybook ones, honestly. But I know a lot, a lot of people like the storybook ones. So. Then oh, there's God. No. There's Sonic Unleashed. Yeah, isn't that the one where he turns into a werewolf? Werehog, in this case, but yes. Whatever. It's more like a honey badger type thing. <laughs> oh, so you said honey badger. Oof. So Sonic briefly turned into Bunga. <laughs> and with the stretchy arms to top it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not kidding. How are y'all doing today? We're all doing good. Yep. <laughs> I've been better. <laughs> I love what Season the Wiccan said after quoting that Prepare to Enter I'm Hell. Down. He's like, oh, I'm my parents' house. For this hilarious since it is right. It is good. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Uh, by the way, uh, earlier, whoever donated the bits, thank you. That was me. Okay, awesome. Oh, yeah. Also, that time it went to laugh, I just said I've been better than you just start cracking. I was like, does tax not exist to you, Golden, my dude? <laughs> Nuggets, you said? I... Sorry. Uh, oh, no! Oh! Wow, that's a fast way to lose your electric barrier. I love that barrier. Oh, no! That's a handy barrier, too. I really enjoyed that one. No shit. When you can double jump, it's always good. It's either double jumping or wall jumping that's always cool. Wait, didn't I just oh, yeah. come over here? What the fuck was that? What? Ugh. God damn backfiring springs. Oh! Now that I think about it, think about it yeah. I think if I remember this this background right, somebody actually did a, uh, use this as like part of their, for the creepypasta sonic.exe. Oh, yeah. And they like to use that Kefka laugh from uh, Final yeah. Fantasy VI. Yeah. I know why, because especially if it has up, if it was up at a high enough volume, it does become a very effective startle, which is understandable. But yeah, like, the game itself was very meh. But that's the point it was supposed to. Uh, I could never understand some video game related pastas. There are some that are good and there are some that are. What the watchable. fuck? Yeah. I'm not too big on creepy pastas of any sort because some of them can range from being ridiculous to just straight up like, yeah, you're just trying to invent like horror stories and try to get a rise out of me. There are some that are good. Like, um, the one of the that I can definitely say is one of the good creepy pastas is like, um,. Ex uh, the Russian sleep experiment. That one was actually really impressive. Whoa, Jesus. And then, um, yeah, there's, uh, yeah, Desert Samurai. Ben Drown is one of them, but there's, like, many others. Just a few from Pokemon that is considered a creepypasta. Some that are kind of silly and overrated, and then there's some that are decent. Gotta collect them yeah. rings. You know, I this is probably a silly question for me. Maybe other people ask this. Why do they call the name Creepy Pasta? Was it based on a dish or something? Because pasta no. is creepy. Because no, pasta is creepy. Because no, no, no. Because okay, past no. analysis is creepy. I don't know. All right, Jesse, yeah, go ahead. Um, the whole the whole idea about 
this is because people create a story and then they do the copy paste tactic with oh. share to others. And I'm gonna was so Oh no! Oh <laughs> hey, go ahead. Uh, so the whole idea of it being creepy is supposed to be like telling ghost stories. So okay. of course people share it through by copy pasting. Okay, and with copy and pasting they kind of like change up the spelling to copy pasting to creepy pasta. Yes. Okay, because it always sounds weird that they call it creepy pasta, like, uh, haunting spaghetti or something. What the fuck? No, uh, it's supposed <laughs> to be a play on word for when it comes to how computer programs work. Yeah. Um, Heartless Doom, thank you for hosting. And they they basically just turn it into like um stuff for like uh oh god damn it ghost stories and whatnot. Oh yes, we will steal. You're right. Um, there's lost silver. The Lavender Town Syndrome is like a very common one, but that one's considered overrated, honestly. If you're not familiar, if the Lavender you know, Town thing, that. yeah, no, I've heard a lot of stories yeah. about Lavender Town and the creepy ass theme. Because of the fact people believe that the that it caused. Um, seizures like it's understandable why they came up with that idea for it because of the fact the uh one of the actual episodes of pokemon uh -huh. the anime what got the banned because it caused seizures on children because of the way they did the uh, colorate the effects of one of the uh one of the scenes in yeah, an actual yeah. episode they had no choice but to gotta go fast is this mine? yes got that for you thank you you're welcome i got um Kichi, a, uh, a Hershey's uh, cookies and cream flavored uh, bar. She loves the hell out of it. Cookies and cream! I love cookies and cream! Cookies and cream! Cookies and cream! Cookies and cream! <laughs> yeah, I know it's berries and cream, but suck my dick. I don't care. No thanks. That's what keyframe's for. <laughs> cookies and cream! <laughs> Joey, you almost made me spit out my coffee. Uh, Joey and, uh, uh, Jesse. So you said that this is cookies, right? Yeah. Cookies and what else? Cream. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. <laughs> My cookies and cream. Hi, cookies and cream. Hi, Kichi. <laughs> Hello, floof monster. Joey says hi. Hi, Joey. And Jesse, too, but yeah. Hi, But no, me. after I said, uh, suck my dick, Joey's like, no thanks, that's what keyframe is for. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what y'all do after dark, I know. I'm just a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so I do know that I probably need a psychiatrist. Oh. <laughs> Today's kind of been a blood bled day. Well, I hope this stream makes you feel better. Yeah. Yes, because nothing says good quality cheer him up like Golden telling people to suck his dick hole. <laughs> 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 to get some spittle on his pickle. That did is good. He's good <laughs> <song> programming. <laughs> Can somebody clip this, please? Clip it this probably thing. already has. Oh my god. Also, oh. I'm. As I am trademarking that spittle on his pickle. Hashtag Jasper Pie 2020. <laughs> Yoink. Oh, Hydrocity Zone. Ow! Fucking hell! Okay. Most people would like not like the stage because it's a water stage and you would get the you know what. But the only thing that bothers me in this stage are the freaking enemy placements. Yeah. Sometimes the water areas tend to become more of a pain, not just because of the the fact you have a timer on you, but the boss, the, some of the monsters that you have to fight do make it a little more uh, pain in the butt. So yeah, yay! Thank you, Magical Star. Thank you for clipping it. <laughs> but no, uh, the second act of the stage is a lot of fun. You go through so many loops and you like slide across the surface. It's awesome. <laughs> 